So I have a Wealthfront cash account and I found out that Wealthfront has a stock, a new stock investing feature. So I thought I would try it out and see how it is. So if you have a Wealthfront cash account, you can easily sign up with the invest account. Now there's multiple types and um, I'm gonna try to explain it a little bit. So there's automated investing. This is the one that Wealthfront has always been known for. This is the one that has the 0.25% management fee on everything. And they'll automatically set up like a investing portfolio for you. I'm not interested in this one. I'm interested in this one. This one has no 0.25% fee. There's no commission. You do have to have it linked with a cash account, but you, you get the same high rate. Like and subscribe. So this rate is still higher than what a lot of brokers have. It's higher than, I think each rate is at 3.5% now. So if you, you basically go to invest, you click on stock investing, and this will tell you a little bit about what they have to offer. So there's different themes and opportunities. This sort of reminds me of Robinhood the layout. So they have different themes, but you don't have to pick from any of these. Uh, it says 1500 plus stocks selected by our research team. Learn about each stock collection, quick analysis of the pros and cons. Invest in multiple stocks easily. Split your deposit into multiple stocks all at once. Spend less time micromanaging your trades. So it shows here, if you look at the screenshot, you could actually, this is sort of like M1, where you can put a percentage, like M1 finance. Okay, now this this part here, they're basically automated investing account is the one that charges the 0.25. So I'm gonna try to stay away from that one. No trading fees, zero commissions. The only money, the only money we make on your stock investing comes from a small net interest margin we earn on the money in your cash account, which happens to be the same cash account that offers the highest interest rate at 4.05% APY. They also, you don't have to invest in their collection. Like I said, you can pick any stock you want. They also offer fractional shares. This requires a Wealthfront cash account. You'll need to sign up with the cash account in order to have this stock account okay so that's all the information here i'm going to go back and log in i'm going to log into my wealthfront cash account and then i'm going to sign up now a way you can find this is you, you scroll down to the very bottom of the page on your wealthfront cash account and you click start investing so i'm going to select the stock investing now it asks for your annual income they need your income for regulatory reasons okay now it's asking for liquid net worth here they have a question that sort of appears to be about your investing psychology. It shows that in one month, your investment goes from 10,000 and loses 10% in one month. What would you do next? So you could put, I would sell everything or I would grow my savings. Okay, so I'm gonna select, uh, I would sell some, I would do nothing. I would buy more. I'm just gonna select something random. Okay, now I believe this has to do with the automated investing. Now I've got probably a year's worth of, of this um, managed investing free because of referrals that I've sent, but I'm not really interested in that. I opened one of these documents here and I just wanna make it clear that you're not gonna be charged a fee. With the exception of our stock accounts, all of our investment accounts are wrap accounts. Wealthfront advisor advisors pay an annual wrap fee of 0.25%. So it said except exception of the stock accounts. So the stock accounts are not included in that. Okay, now I'm gonna select open my account. Okay, 5,000 manage for free with referral, skip. Okay, stock investing account, I have a zero, I have a zero dollar balance at this point. We're preparing your account, submit your application. We'll need you to use your Wealthfront app to submit information, okay? This normally takes, to open an account usually takes less than one business day. We'll contact you if we need more information, okay? I'm gonna dismiss this for now. Okay, submit application. Okay, it doesn't look like I have to actually submit. I believe I've already done so, but I'm actually going to verify my identity with the app on my phone. Okay, once you open this on your phone, it's asking for photos of your ID, such as a driver's license. Please take a picture of the front and back of your ID. Okay, I've verified. Okay, so my account is now open already. It took about maybe three minutes and I received an email after I sent my verification photo and now i can see my account let's take a look at the wealthfront stock trading web interface everything that you see is under explore so click on explore then you'll see a variety of different things so you have streaming here they have these different sections that they created so you can actually um you could invest in this so if you if you click invest for example, you would put in the amount that you want to invest then you hit continue now basically it actually breaks it up even 
But if you wanted to invest more in one versus another, you could change it. You just click custom and you would adjust this. They have these categories that they created, but you don't have to invest in these. You can invest in ETFs or stocks also. They have some kind of unique sections, walled gardens, wild moats, self-driving car, transformation, hardware tech. Then they have some down below, everyday essentials, rising interest rates. Rising interest rates looks like it's mostly banks. Inflation thrivers, buybacks. So you could invest in this here with as little as $1. Okay, you got healthcare, everyday essentials, cloud. Now th this premium stuff that you see below, this is the 0.25% this would be automated investing so you'd have to pay a fee on these if you did those okay so let's try to look for a stock so we'll type msft okay that popped up let's see what it looks like so you click on microsoft you see the chart is very basic you see some data about the company you see the high the low the dividend yield you can't get any more info than this you can't get any price to sales price to book or any sort of valuation metrics so it's very basic sort of like robin hood actually i think robin hood has a little bit more data now you could also do etf so you could type voo you could do it lowercase also. So it works fine for some things, but I did notice an issue. Not all the stocks and ETFs are there. So for example, and the search isn't working very well. So I typed Coca-Cola, the ticker symbol is KO. So look what happens when I type KO. I can do it all caps. I can do it with the space after. Now it actually is in here. I would expect that if I typed in KO, it would be like the top three at least. But no, it's all the way it's all the way down here. So it is available to buy, but it's not, you know, the search isn't working so good. And that's not the only one I've noticed that problem with. Um, I also tried to do Vanguard Information Tech Fund, which is VGT. Uh, they don't have, that's not available. I tried the... Um, iShares, one of the largest uh, ETFs, IVV, uh, that's not available. I've also tried searching for it. So I type Vanguard just to see like maybe it would be in here. If you type, I think with this right now, the way Wealthfront stock trading is set up, you, it's better if you actually search the name versus the ticker because the ticker seems to have issues. But let's look in here and see if we can see VGT. No, I don't see it. I see VGK. So they don't have a lot of stocks. I actually went to Robinhood and I was able to put in VGT, no problem. Any other broker, I could do that. I type, if I typed QQQ, QQQ is available, but not QQQM. That's the cheaper one. So all the stocks aren't there, which isn't good yet. And the search isn't working well. Um, the limited research tools, that's another one. So you're not going to be able to do any sort of research. You know, if you're going to research a stock, all you can really see is a dividend yield and how much it's gone up or down. That's that's not really enough for me. Uh, it is a quick and easy sign up. You saw I, I signed up and within probably three or four minutes, I was approved. Now, I already had the cash account, but it was very easy to sign up probably one of the quickest. Um, so I placed an order yesterday for VOO for $1. If you click on the name in the upper right and you click activity and you select stock investing account, you can see the uh, all of the transactions. So I like that. This is only on the web interface though. There's no um, drop down to select stock trading account on the phone, at least on Android. So if you wanna look, if you've got a lot of trades that you've placed, it's gonna be difficult. You're gonna to have to scroll through and look at each one individually, which I'll show you here in a bit. Okay, so let's let's say I wanna actually buy three stocks as one group. How do I do that? So let's try, I'm gonna do, let's say 1960 stocks, the ones that were on the S&P 500. So we're going to type AT&T. We're going to hit save. Um, I'm going to type new portfolio. You have to save it to our portfolio, which is a little bit annoying. We're going to type 60s stocks. Create portfolio. Okay. Keep exploring. We're going to go back. We're going to add another one. We're going to type um, General Motors because that was one of the top ones in 1960. We're going to hit save. Add to 1960s. All right. Let's add one more. Uh, another one would be Ford. Ford was also in there. So we're going to type save 1960s. Okay. So now you scroll down to investments. You click on 1960 stocks. Now you can see the stocks listed here. Now I, I thought that there'd be an option to actually manage the percentages, but you don't see the percentages until you actually go to click to invest. So let's try this now. So we're gonna click invest. You can see there's three stocks here. Now you can put the amount. So we're gonna hit $50. Now you can see it actually shows the percentages that it'll invest in each. And you could change this if you wanted to. Okay, so that's it for the web interface. Okay, I have one more thing that I wanted to try. 
M1 Finance, if you're using the free account, it only invests once in the once a day, first thing in the morning. But I believe with Wealthfront, it actually invests throughout the day. So if you're using the free account with M1 Finance, it invests everything first thing in the morning. And with Wealthfront and stock investing, I believe it's throughout, it's a, a window. So it's like uh, 10 to 2 I believe so it'll invest throughout the day so I'm thinking that I'm wondering if I place an order right now during the trading day if it'll actually go through at that time so um, you know what let's just try one it, I don't really care I'm, I'm investing so little it doesn't really matter what I invest in here but we're gonna try the 60 stocks so I'm gonna actually invest in the 60 stocks right now and see what happens we'll do two dollars and we'll see how quickly it's actually transferring from the cash account to invest. We'll see if it goes through today. Okay, we'll say $3, continue. Okay, so now we're doing like a dollar in each of these. Review investment, oh, $1 minimum per investment. I thought I did $3, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so I think I found a bug here. There's a $1 minimum per investment. You can update the split or go back to update the overall investment amount. Okay, I have $3, that's $1 per investment. What's the problem? When it did the split, uh, some of these were 0.99 cents, which is below the amount, the minimum. That's why it did that error. So let's go back again. We'll just make it $5. We'll just do $4. That should work. Okay, so now it's $1.30. That's more than the minimum. Review investment. Okay, it says estimated time to invest within one hour. Okay, let's do it. Initiated. Done. Okay, so now you see the transfer in progress. Okay, so it is, it's 1118 Pacific Standard Time, 1118 Pacific Standard Time, and we'll see how long this takes. Okay, it's now 1130 Pacific Standard Time, and I just looked at my account and the order executed, so I have uh, the 60 stocks here, 4GM and uh, AT&T, and you can see it doesn't actually show the time. I mean, it may have happened several minutes before, so it's not the most detailed in the world. Okay, now let's go look. Okay, so here under 60 stocks, you can see, here you can see the stocks that I bought. And there is a little bit of cash left over. So because you're dealing with fractions of a share, it, it will, you will see some extra cash in the account. My VOO also has a little bit set aside. But I do like this better than M1, the fact that you can actually buy it. You can do a market order like it's supposed to be done during, you can basically place a market order and have it execute within, you know, around 10 minutes or so versus M1 where you're you're stuck waiting all day for it to do it in the morning. So I do like, the, I do like this feature so far. So after reviewing Wealthfront stock investing account, what do I think of it? So I'm going to go through the pros. What I like about it, number one, is no pay, no payment for order flow. Absolutely zero payment for order flow. Number two, quick sign up. I was signed up within about five minutes, but I already had a cash account. Three, it's linked to the high interest rate cash account. Number four, low minimums. It's $1 per investment. So if you've got five stocks, it'd be at least a $5 minimum, which isn't bad. Number five, fractional shares you have fractional shares with the wealthfront stock investing account which is nice number six bundled percentage orders similar to m1 finance slices or swab number seven quick transfers the money that's transferred from the wealthfront cash account quickly goes to the investment account where the transaction can be made number eight quick market orders now it said approximately one hour, but I placed an order and within about 10 minutes, the order was complete. Number nine, orders throughout the day. This isn't a one-time order like M1 Finance where it does it only once a day. You can do orders throughout the day with Wellfront Stock Investing. Okay, what about the cons? Number one, limited stocks and ETFs. Now I put in VGT, VGT wasn't available. That's Vanguard Information Technology. QQQM wasn't available. Devo, D-I-V-O wasn't available. So the, I believe it said 1,500 stocks and that's a little on the low side. Number two, search issues. As I mentioned, I typed in KO for Coca-Cola and it was at the very bottom of the page. And I had a few others that also did the same thing. Number three, limited research tools. Basically dividend yield and the highs and the lows, that's basically it, nothing else. So very limited for research. Number four, no limit orders. Uh, that's kind of a big one for me. I definitely like limit orders. Number five, pending orders confusing. 
The issue with this was I placed an order for a VOO. You have to create it in the portfolio. After the order was placed, I added some more ticker symbols to that portfolio and I wasn't for sure if that was going to actually order everything in that portfolio or just the VOO. So it could be a little bit clearer. Number six, executed order centralization missing on mobile. So if you go to the mobile app and you go to activity, you'll see a bunch of you'll see a bunch of the orders, but they're all separated. So if you want to find one place that has all of the orders, you have to go to the web interface, not mobile. Number seven, no reoccurring investment. So there you have it. Uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with the first go with Wealthfront stock investing. I think once they start adding more features, it'll get even better. So anyways, like and subscribe. Have a good one.